Well, thank you so much, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member for her speech on this important issue. And the reality is Canada is being targeted, and the government isn't doing the things it needs to do. Uh, to be transparent about it. And I think one of the things that all of us should be concerned about in this place is the fact that so many of the members in this place learned about that foreign interference through the media. And that is not the way to learn that you're being targeted. Mm -hmm. So I, I guess my question to the member through you, uh, Speaker, is could she talk a little bit about solutions? I know in terms of the foreign registry, there's a lot of concerns from ethnic communities that feel that they're going to be specifically targeted and they want to keep safety. So what are the solutions moving forward and what does this government actually need to take action on? The Honourable Member for Vancouver East. Well, uh, thank you very much uh, to my colleague for that question. Uh, first off, I think on the legislation that was tabled, what must happen is that it needs to come into law before the next election and be implemented. That is a key piece that needs to be done. Now, of course, there are many elements within that legislation that's going to be in regulation or even the mandate for the commissioner, and we don't know what that looks like. Um, but the, and then also keeping in mind, that is not the be and and end all. That is just only one tool to address foreign interference activities. I would also finally say this for Prague. The work that Prague needs to do is not done because what came out in the inquiry was that there was contradictory information. Uh, Katie Telford, on the one hand, told the committee that, of course, the prime minister reads all the uh, confidential documents. Then the Prime Minister at the hearing said, I don't read any of them. So my question is, who is not telling the truth? We need to get to the bottom of this. They do not get to sweep this under the rug. We need to get to the bottom of it and to hold people to account, and most importantly, to actually take the real action that are necessary to address foreign interference.